Easter Monday here and I have been working on another little project but I'm a good way off with that so I thought I'd share a few more pages in my everyday journal which is filling up nicely. <laughs> I, um, I think we got up to this page which um, was the page I made to celebrate the birth of Nell my niece's second daughter. And um, I've got a couple more pictures of her to add to the spread. So I'm going to pop these on the opposite page. Just pop them in there. Okay, so um, at the end of this video, I might show you a couple of pictures of the finished, finally, well, actually, not quite finished ensuite bathroom. I am still waiting for some window covering but um, I'm almost there and I have to say I'm very pleased. It looks so much nicer than it did. If you saw my Instagram page I posted a picture of the old bathroom, the bathroom as it was when we bought the house and um, it was the one room that I was desperate to do and I am very happy with it. Might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I like it. Okay, so I'll show you a picture of that at the end. So now, back to this journal. I've had fun with this. I don't work on it every day, but I try and do a bit here and there. So this page here has a, um, a pocket and it's uh, made up from collaging all papers that um, I've inked and played around with. Um, Lisa Heinzel did a wonderful tutorial on using up your scraps um, with coffee stain and ink, uh, ink splotches, stamping, and I did a bit of that. And this is this pocket. Is, uh, uses some of that paper. Um, I've also used a bit of pattern paper there, scrunched up to add a bit of te texture to the page. And on this side, I love this image. I tell my husband this is me and him, <laughs> or him and I. Um, but he pointed out that this guy's got more hair than he has, so fair enough. It's not quite. Um, this is a pocket, again collage pocket, with a journaling card inside and the journaling card has a little pocket. The tag, that slots in there. And if we flip over, this page is all about mushrooms. I, um, I had a little, um, I spent a day collecting up images of mushrooms. I was surprised at how many I actually had, either images from the graphics fairy or um, stickers that I'd bought, um, other digital images. So that was how this page come, came about. This is actually the edge of an envelope that I um, had left over. So I've used that as a pocket for this little tag. All things good are wild and free. That sums up mushrooms, I think. And here, this page was a vellum page or a tracing paper page. And I've doubled it up to house this little bookmark. The 9th of the 3rd I did this one. It fits in here. I just decorated the bottom of the page with a store-bought butterfly and a little bit of um, cheesecloth and a label and carried it over. Actually that's the back of the card so as you see something on this side. This is actually a plain book page. 
and I liked it so I've left it. Same with the middle, so far I've left that one. And the other side. Okay, next page I worked on was this one. And this to me was a more masculine page. Um, I've used neutral images, playing card, a flip up pocket here with a silhouette. Love that image. And inside that pocket, it's another vintage image, Penny Farthing Bicycle. And um, just tea dyed paper on the reverse. A little bit of lace here on the edge to um, as a uh, tab. Now this is a double spread and I've used washi tapes and packaging paper to cover this page and I've purposely left this blank because I can journal here. Haven't as yet but I know exactly what's going on that page. It's all jotted down. I've got notes somewhere. On this page I've added a pocket, again collage, music paper, and it has um, a tag inside, simple tag, and in the back, this is a, um, a journaling card from um, Oh, I can't think of the name. Um, you know, the journals with the, have the plastic pockets and you slip bits in. But that's one of the bits that you slip in, basically. Um, I'm starting to use those up for all sorts. I've got a bit of a plan for some of the larger ones, but um, watch this space for that one. So then we flip over and... Um, the design of this page came about by the colours on this book page. Um, very autumnal colours, I think, and here, as I've said, I'm sure before, we've had, our summer has been more like autumn. We haven't had much sun at all. Uh, we've had an awful lot of rain and uh, dull days put me in mind of this picture. So um, I've collaged this side to match, adding just the butterfly to lift it a little bit. And inside, a journal card. And this has, um, this is a copy of a, um, a photo album page. And I've used some uh, dried flowers to feature in the center there behind um, some you know store wrapping plastic so that slots in there turn over here's another little cutie daily inspiration I've called this and I've played here on this page with paints, gesso and paints. Not very good at the painting, but I like to play. So my card, I've probably shown this card before, this tag, I made it some time ago. I drew this and just used paints, inks to color over a collaged page. And it's got one of my tiny tags. And that's just clipped on the page here. Over this side, the tag that kind of matches. Same thing, drawn and painted. Some washi. And that just slots in there. Well, like a lot of people, I guess, I've been very saddened by what's happening in Europe. 
and um, I feel so terribly sorry for the Ukrainians and the people who at this day and age are going through an awful war. You can call it whatever you like, but uh, it is a war. Um, and this was my page, really, um, to commemorate or to, to um, feature the, uh, what's going on. So I've used the U uh, Ukrainian flag colours, blues and yellows. And also, these images were freebies, and I can't remember who they were from. If I find them, I will list them. This was a free image uh, to use, including this piece down here, which I thought was lovely. Uh, I fussy cut that out to, uh, to add to the corner of the page. And it's um, covering a map page, this, um, this spread. And over here, same sort of thing, I've used um, the blues and the yellows again. This little tag. And I will journal my thoughts on the back of both of these. Um, this page, I've got to write something in there, haven't done it yet. This is my... Um, my nieces, this is another niece, in fact it's Millie's mum's sister, Millie and Nell's auntie, um, Lauren, had a baby boy. And this is Sebastian. So he's got a page there. He's a cutie, smiley boy, apparently, full of smiles all the time. So his page is here and I've yet to fill in the details on that card. This image was from this scrapbook paper. I actually made her a um, little album for um, pre-birth to birth and this is the paper I used. Here's another of my calendar pieces um, and this was um, I think this one was for March. People who love to eat are always the best people. And I have to say, if those people cook for me, they definitely are the best people. <laughs> but I won't go there. Okay. I've made a pocket with that one, some stenciling down the side. And the journal card has a little pocket with another tag inside. This is a sticker, it's playing on the back. Plenty of room for journaling there. Okay, that's it for now. I will show you the rest another time. I um, hope you like the way this is going. As I say, it changes daily, depending how I'm feeling on the day I um, fill a page and I may well go back to these pages and do some work in there. I don't follow on naturally, you know, page by page. But that is it. I hope you are well. I hope you've enjoyed your Easter break. It's actually Easter Monday. Did I say that? Here. And we've had a glorious day. In fact, this morning I was working with Ian outside. It was lovely. It was Actually a bit too warm in the end, I had to come in. But um, yes, we've had a nice Easter long weekend and I hope you have too. I thank you very much for calling past. If you like this post, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I've had a couple of new subscribers over the last few days and I'm really thrilled to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time. And I'll be back with either more from this book or a little bit about the project I'm working on at the moment. Until then, stay safe. Thanks again. Bye.